last week on Ninja Master. Who are you? My name is Crutch, Kwai Crane Crutch. I searched for my brother, my half-brother. The last I heard, he was in this land. What's his name? Marty, Marty Crutch. Wait, I know that name. I've read it somewhere. I knew I saw the name before. Brodyites raid small village in Okimos. Take prisoners. See, look at right here in the list of captives, Marty Crutch. Oh, you will show me how to get there. Oh, Crutch. That's Michigan State Territory. The civilized areas are vile, much less Brody Compound. You will show me. Now you will tell me where the Ninja Master is. When you can snatch this pebble from my hand, then it will be time for you to leave the monastery and you won't have to pay dues anymore. Now the trick here is I won't let you try again for another 15 years or so. Why do you hesitate to let this young one into the temple? He shows not the natural skill of the ninja master. And besides, his blood is only half Wisconsin. His father was from Michigan. King Mark spread enough racism across the lands of Wisconsin. Must it come here too? No, he's untrainable. <laughs> I could train anyone, my friend. Is that so? How much are you willing to put on that? How about 300 ounces of gold? He's in. I could use the extra cash. 
This flypaper is the test. Sticky as the glue of Elmer, clinging as the wife you owe alimony, when you can walk its length and leave no trace, then you're pretty damn awesome. Again. Try another time. Shit! He's the worst disciple we've ever had. He's been here 25 years and some of the white belts could kick his ass. We must not give up on him now. Look, if it's the bet, hey, we never thought gold was going to skyrocket to $400 an ounce. I say we call off the bet. Oh, thank God. Now, how are we gonna get rid of this scuff ball? <laughs> I have an idea. this sheet back to the linen room. Here's your pay. Quickly, go! <clears throat> Master, you know I cannot do this. Try, dung beetle. I did it! I did it! Good! Now you can leave. Hey, come on over and give me a hand with this stuff. Scratch. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh. Oh, that feels good. Hmm. Hey, let's have some fun with our bandy little cleanup man here. Hey, you. You, come here. Hey. Come over here. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Go. Here, take these. Put them over there. Oh. Hey, what the hell are you doing, idiot? Oh, these oh, things are expensive. Oh, oh, oh. Pick them up. Pick them up. <laughs> Oh, jeez. 
All right, just put him away. <laughs> I'm looking for the lands of Michigan State. Well, what have we got here? Looks like one of them Wisconsin men. A little far from the road crews, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> now hold on here. I've never been one to refuse a man a drink <laughs> when he's needing one, right? Here, go over there and give me that stuff. <laughs> How about a long, warm Ooh. drink of Gatorade? I would prefer water. Oh, I'll, I'll get him some water. You just shut up and stay there. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? This Wisconsin man just refused to drink with me. Did you hear him refuse to share a drink with me? Hell, I heard him. You know, where I come from, it is an insult to refuse to share a drink of Gatorade with a man. But you, you're from Wisconsin. So I'm going to give you one more chance. Now, are you going to stand there and insult me again? Masturbator? Look, call me Master or Master Ben, all right? Master Ben? <sighs> yes, Dung Beetle. Master Ben, we are taught not to eat certain things or drink certain things or park in certain places without a permit or do certain things, for it is not in our nature. Yes. But what if I were to come across certain men who would wish me to do one of those things for it is in their nature of things, what should I do? You should thank them for their considering you, but tell them you're not interested. The sage calls this the thanks, but no thanks proverb. But what if the men are insistent, for it would be insulting to them if I were to refuse? Then you should explain that it is not in your beliefs and would be insulting to you to do so. But what if the men threaten me with physical violence? Look, what do you want from me? Why do you have a sudden obsession with this topic? Am I not here to learn? <sighs> Very well. I guess you just have to do what they tell you. Master! All right, I'll tell you what you want to hear. If you have explained to them that this is not your way, and explained to them that it would be an insult to yourself to violate your beliefs and were threatened with physical violence, then and only then may you beat the crap out of them. It would be an insult. Oh, well, well. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to teach this one a lesson. That's <laughs> three. What? Oh, ow, ooh, ah! I want to do that to those goons. Oh, are, are you all right? I will be. Don't worry. Boy, you really kicked their ass, didn't ya? Hey, you, you've got to get out of here. They got friends. You're not safe here. I will not be here long. I seek the whereabouts of the Brodyites. <gasps> Brodyites? What would you want with them? They have captured my brother. 
Your brother? My half-brother. My father was from Michigan. Your brother? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, this would be the tribe of Emmons. You know how I can get there? They don't keep prisoners alive very long. That's eh, it's far too dangerous to travel alone. I'll take ya. Please, do not endanger yourself. You can never find it alone. I'll take ya. <laughs> Besides, I know I'll get blamed for this somehow. <laughs> Just show me the way. Get up, dumb beetle. Try again. <laughs> you fight like an old woman, dumb beetle. <laughs> you learn very quickly, dumb beetle. Well, thank you, master. But not quick enough. Eighteen in the last year. Oh, I don't mean children in the biological sense. I mean my children, my work. I'm proud of my accomplishments, and I don't want to see them swept away by, by nuclear war or crushed by heavy taxes. Republicans and Democrats may claim to have the cure for our nation's sickness, but our country is so infected that none of their cures are working. We are in a cancerous state of decline. In many ways, this year's presidential election is no different from that in 1980. The American people are left without a choice. The present players in our political arena are worn out and weak. They, they aren't effective anymore. In the heart of middle America, in a small district called Bloom County, a new hope is gathering for the American people for a choice in November. They call themselves the Meadow Party. What we need is the Meadow Party ticket. I believe the Meadow Party has an answer. They have a viable plan that does not include raising taxes or ignoring the needy. Their doctrine for foreign policy is far better than Mr. Reagan's or Mr. Mondale's. I support the ideals of the Meadow Party. Bill the Cat and Opus will help America. Bill the Cat and Opus can solve the world peace situation. If you care about the American way of life and equality for all, please vote and Opus. Bill the Cat and Opus. They're just what the doctor ordered. Paid for by the committee to elect Bill the Cat in office. Yup, that's the guy. He fought like a demon. So he killed some guy in your country, huh? Where did he say he was going? Didn't. But he either killed or kidnapped the janitor down at the IM. You have been most helpful. Wait, there is something. I'm not sure if I dreamt it or not, but he said something about the Brodyite territory. <laughs> but hell, I was flat on my back at the time. You will tell me more about this Brodyite territory. It is written that a ninja master is as quick and cunning as they are smart and wise. Looked for, they cannot be seen. Felt, they cannot be touched. Sought, they cannot be found. To the ninja, any time is a time to be feared, but night is the greatest of allies. Ah! 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 
Is my brother. The sage has said that the ninja master can never be bound, for if there is a weak link, it will be broken. A crack in the wall they will slip through. Nothing can hold the ninja master, for they can merge with the shadows and walk through walls. misery to come so far in this strange land only to watch my brother die in my arms. Your brother? My half-brother, Marty Crutch. My mother married our father shortly after his first wife died. The other dad can never last a week without getting laid. Unable to return to Michigan, Marty was left in his sister's care. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm Marty Crutch. My sister? <laughs> no, wait a minute. You have to save me. The Brody Apes may be stupid, but they won't be fooled for long. You're right. We must leave.
about him. To hell with him. We did it, we're free! Not quite, Kawhi Crane Crutch. Good evening, friends and suspects. Throughout my life, I was noted as a film genius. However, many of you are unaware of my virtuosity on the guitar. For example, Michael row the boat to shore, hallelujah. That reminds me of my favorite Rodney Dangerfield joke. My wife, I tell you, the other day she was in the shower, so I stabbed her. And if you order now for the Alfred Hitchcock home guitar course, you'll receive absolutely free these special little stickers so that you can learn how to play the guitar also with the same virtuosity I have. Just scotch tape them to the end of your guitar and you'll play like the birds. That was another movie of mine, but I digress. That was neither here nor there. Good evening. So don't forget, friend, check or money order to the late Alfred Hitchcock, 4821 Tony Perkins Drive, Psycho, Wyoming. Order today. Who is this guy? I'm getting some help. Now you will fight me in an honorable manner, or you will die a dishonorable cur. Very well, I will fight you. You must come and see this. Your worthless disciple has learned a new trick. He took your advice. He's using his head. It is written that a man is only as strong as his mind, so I am strengthening my mind. He's learning to master the heaviest part of his body, but what a formidable weapon it is. It appears that the Prince of Mark has been killed by a young ninja master outside Mark's dairy. His name is Kwai Crane Crutch. And, well, uh, I'll send you a picture of him later. We have been disgraced. Disgraced? Well, yes. Well, Even God, though God, God, most God. of us would prefer to shake the hand well, of the man who thumped that prince's melody. Even though the prince was a termite infestation on the royal house of Mark. Well, duty is sure duty, and it's our duty to select someone to destroy this ninja master. We'll, we'll, we'll avenge Mark, that's all we'll do. Yes, we shall avenge the jerk. As if we really gave a damn. I have assembled here the greatest masters of the royal guard. The master of the crane.
Send him. and as capable as his skills. But if faced with superior numbers and superior strength, how can one hope to survive? Disciple Crutch, tell me this. Which is stronger, flesh and blood or wood? The wood. Break the boards. Now, Disciple Crutch, which is stronger, flesh and blood or wood? 
Well, we would. 